Hello friends, in this video lab, we are going to see how we can secure a share folder in Windows Server 2016 by creating a hidden share and assigning a NTFS permission. First of all, let's understand what is hidden share. A hidden share is a share folder that administrators can create on any Windows operating system. The difference between the normal share folder and a hidden share folder is that the share folder that is hidden is not visible to the users who access the file server or the computer. The difference between the normal share folder and a hidden share folder is that the share folder that is hidden is not visible to the user who access the file server or the computer on which the hidden share folder resides. Even if network user use UNC path to the target computer, the folder that is shared as a hidden is not visible. The only way to access the hidden share folder is to type the exit UNC path to the folder itself. A share folder can be made hidden by specifying the shared name to the folder followed by a dollar sign. If a shared name does not contain a dollar sign, it is shared normally and is visible to everyone who uses the UNC path to access the target computer. Here I will create one uh, hidden share folder on our domain controller name lab-dc01. So let's set up a hidden share folder on our domain controller. First of all, you have to open a server manager. On a server manager, click on file and storage services. Then click on shares. Now here you can see there are two folders, netlogon and syswall shared by default. This is because the server is Active Directory domain controller. For this demonstration, we want to create a hidden share folder name confidential to our HR managers groups. We want only the HR manager users to view and execute the content of the folder. So let's see our users and group on our Active Directory. Let's open Active Directory users and computers. On our Active Directory users and computer consoles, as you can see, I have a one OU name OU1. And here I have a two users for the testing purpose, user1 and user2. And the both users are member of our group HR managers. This is the security group. Let's come back on our server manager and let's create one hidden share folder. Let's click on a task, select new share. New share wizard pops up. On this wizard, select SMB share quick profile. This is suitable for general file sharing. Click on next. Now here, you can select the entire volume, but if you want to specify a custom path, that time you have to select the path by selecting type of custom path options. Let's click on browse. Let's select a C drive and let's create a new folder. Let's specify the name of the folder. Confidential. Select the folder and let's click on next. Now here, if you select the share name without dollar sign at the end of the share folder, that share folder will create as a normal share. But if you put a dollar sign behind the share folder, that time the folder will be created as a hidden share. Now this is the local path to the share, C colon slash confidential, and this is the remote path to the share. UNC path, lab this is one slash confidential, and you have to remember the dollar sign. Click on next. Now here I'm going to select enable access based enumeration. Access based enumeration display only the files and the folder that user has a permission to access. If a user does not have at least a read permission for the folder, Windows will hide the folder from user's view. Let's click on next. Now here, as you can see, the share permission is everyone full control. That means any authenticated users from our domain can access the share folder. Let's customize the NTFS permission. So let's click on customize permission. Now here, as you can see, we have a two entries for users. That means any user from our domain is member of this group. That means any user from our domain can read and execute this folder and also that users have some special permission. If you click on a view, if you click on a so advanced permission, as you can see, every user can create files, write data, create folders and append data to this folder. And that we want to control. Let's click on close and I'm going to remove these users entry. Let's see, let's try to remove the entry. Now, as you can see, you can't remove the user's entry because this object is inheriting permission from its parent itself. Means the permission is inheriting from our root folder and that is C drive. Now, if you want to remove this entry, that time you have to disable the inheritance first. So let's disable the inheritance 
and let's convert inherited permission into explicit permission on this object. Now I'm going to remove these both entries for our users groups. Now only administrators have a permission on this folder. Let's add our Azure Manager group. Select the principal and let's type the name of our group HR Managers. Okay, now the permission type is allow. This permission is applying on this folder, subfolder, and files. But we want to assign this permission to these folders only. That time you can select this checkbox. Now here I'm going with the this folder, subfolders, and file. Now let's click on show advanced permission. Now here, as we can see, we have a lot of specific permissions. For this demonstration, we are happy with these permissions. Reverse folders and execute files, list folder and read data, read attributes, read extended attributes. As you can see, the users has the permission to read NTFS permission as well. Let's click on OK. Let's click on apply and OK again. Now, we just set a NTFS permission at the sharing level, everyone has a full control. But at NTFS level, only administrators has a full control and our HR managers group have a read in execute permission. Let's click on next. Now this is the uh, brief overview information about the shared folder. Let's click on create to create the shared folder. So as you can see, the share was successfully created. Let's click on close to close this console. Now here, as you can see, we have a one share folder name confidential, but at the end of the shared name, we have a dollar sign. Now for this demonstration purpose, on a Windows 10 computer, already I log in as our user name user1. Now let's try to access the our computer name lab-dc01. So as you can see, here we have only two shared folders named netlogon and syswap. User is not able to see the third four shared folder because we just created that shared folder as a hidden shared folder. Let's open C drive, let's open the confidential folder and let's create a one uh, sample file inside this. This is a sample file. Let's save this. Okay, now let's go back on Windows 10 again. And as you can see, user is not able to see the hidden share folder. How user can access the share folder which is created as a hidden. That time user must know the exact path of the share folder itself. And for that user has to type you can see path lab hyphen dc01 that is the name of our server and then we have to type the name of our hidden share folder. And at the end of the share folder we have to put a dollar sign and then press enter key. Now. As you can see, user is able to access the share folder because user has a permission to read and execute the content of this share folder. Now suppose if user try to create a new folder inside this uh, confidential folder, as you can see, you need permission to perform this actions. That means user is not able to create folders or user is not able to put any kind of data inside the share folder. Now let's try to open this sample file. Now as you can see, user is able to read the uh, sample file and that means user has a read permission on the shared folder. Now suppose if uh, user try to edit and save this file, what happened? Okay, let's close this. Let's click on save. Now let's specify the new name, sample file, new, click on save. Okay, so as we can see, user does not have a permission to save in this location because we just assign a read only permission in this share folder. So by creating a hidden share folder and by using the NDFS permission, we can secure the data of the shared folders.